What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Today, we are in St. Augustine, Florida. Grandparents, I should say, awesome, awesome beach house. Um, they've had this beach house for a few decades now and uh, they've let us have the opportunity to enjoy it for quite some time. And uh, yeah, so today I'm gonna be doing some fishing down in Old St. Augustine, but uh, first my homie, the golfer tortoise Fred, wants to say what's up. Uh, Fred's my brother from another mother. Um, and gopher tortoises, uh, gopher tortoises are um, very, very common on the East Coast. They love chilling in these sand dunes by the beach. Overall, just really, really chill. Uh, very, very friendly animals. As you can see, my guy Fred, he doesn't really seem to give a, give a whole lot about being on camera, but that's all right. Um, everybody's gotta get their moment at some point. Actually, we're not gonna be fishing any salt water today. We're actually gonna be heading to a brackish pond and a brackish canal as well that it connects to. So my goal today is I'm gonna pull out a big uh, brackish uh, pond snook for you guys. So that's gonna be kind of a whole series I'm gonna do because I know it's not gonna be easy. I have tried there, Fred, brother, scratching my arm. Um, I'm gonna do a whole series on trying to pull out a brackish pond snook. Fred, brother, you're scratching, my, uh, scratching the heck out of my arm. Fred, thoughts? All right guys, I don't know if you can see that well, but right in the center of the camera, there is a beautiful, beautiful, moderately sized alligator. I really wish you would come up close. Fortunately, um, this lens does not have a whole lot of zoom, but boom, that's where he is. Right there, I'm tickling his head. Doot, doot, doot. Oh, he just went under. He ain't down for this. We don't want the smoke, honestly. He was a good catching size, realistically. Wasn't too big. Um, really love to get that on film. Alrighty guys, so here is the canal that I've been talking about. Um, we are just going to be fishing this bad boy uh, for a little while and uh, work our way to the big pond and then hopefully catch something decent in the process of getting over to the pond. So this is actually going to be my next uh, bait of choice in the canal. Um, it does have a little Texas rig style. Probably about to pee on me. Yep. Just missed it. Little toad action. And a horrible dog over there. So sorry your thunder's getting... Alrighty everyone, so as you can see I'm crouched down here. The reason I have to do this little voiceover is the audio is just horrendous uh, today in this video from the wind to the GoPro case, just really kind of knocking everything off. But what you can do is uh, you can see here that I'm in a nice crouching position. I'm sneaking up on a snake here on all fours, ready to pounce like a jaguar here. Uh, here I am, nice starting position and go, pounce time dive did i get the snake did i get the snake let's see let's see boom got him uh beautiful little eastern uh black racer is what this little bad boy is and uh very common snakes um in florida very very fast snakes that's why they have the racer name in them and he's trying to bite me um but it's all good here you go I'll grab him around the neck like a pro boom Nice and secure, uh, very cool little snake. He really starts to mellow out after a little while. But uh, like I said, very, very common snakes. And I was super pumped to catch this guy because the fishing uh, that day had been uh, pretty horrendous. What they're called here in Florida. And like I said, as you can tell, he's completely... 
he was, uh, he's actually pretty chill. You know, he's not really trying to bite too much. Um, very... Alrighty guys, so a win today. We found ourselves a Eastern Black Racer here. Um, a lot of people, a lot of folks in Florida just flat out call him uh, Black Racers. This guy's pretty mellow. Um, he has been a little bit bitey, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, once I've gotten a hold of him, he's been really, really chill. Like I said, guys, fishing, once again, similar to the uh, last Asheville video. Whoop! He is, uh, this guy wants to, um, he's going to bite my hand unexpectedly, but he's been pretty chill so far. A um, little bit bitey snake, nothing too crazy. Super, super chill. Um, Eastern racers are completely harmless. Um, the only thing that can potentially happen is a little bloody finger like this but nothing crazy. Overall, super, super mellow uh, little snakes here. Very beautiful. Um, on the, obviously on the GoPro footage, I was able to sneak up, up on him pretty well. This is the third one I've seen today, and I think the second one that we've been able to get on camera and the first one that I caught. So, like I said, fishing has been super rough, and uh, here he is, nice focused uh, camera here, sticking his tongue out. Um, like I said, fishing has just been rough. So I was super, super happy to um, get you guys at least something today. Uh, we still have quite the hike down to that uh, hidden pond over there. So I um, hope you guys enjoy this beautiful black racer and I am going to keep fishing. So guys, I actually noticed that this poor guy is missing a piece of its tail here, as you can see. Um, I do not know what could have happened. I would assume maybe something like, honestly, probably a little gator came after this guy. Alligators have been super, super common today. Um, I've seen a decent amount of them. And uh, like I said, this guy does really want to bite me. Super chill though, honestly pretty laid back for a black racer. Usually they're a lot more crazy than this. and. Uh, I am going to let him go here. Alrighty guys, we are going to say bye to our black racer friend. I don't want to let him go right where I, I let him, or right where I found him, excuse me, because there is people there. And you know how most folks are with snakes. We're going to let this guy go. One more shot, just absolutely beautiful snake. Super pumped I was able to get this guy. So peace out my dude, you take it easy. Well, he's going right back where I caught him. Pretty lethargic, honestly, for a racer. So, peace out, my brother. Much love. All right, so the audio, unfortunately, in this clip does get horrendous again. But as you can see, there's a big body of water right there. And, uh, man, I just got over to this spot after hiking a mile and a half fishing through that canal with zero bites. And, um, I was just completely and 100% defeated, um, and just super, super upset that I, I walked a mile and a half, fished all that way with zero fish and find out that this beautiful body of water that I had been anticipating all day was, uh, not only fenced off, but it had some privacy signs and apparently so there's some pretty hardcore repercussions, um, getting into this uh spot and fishing it and uh so yeah i was just super defeated and uh, was almost ready to uh give up for the day oh guys i'm on i'm on i'm on i'm on it's a snook it's a snook it's a snook get in get in get in get in get in oh my god oh oh my god i missed the uh you guys missed the bite because i was so discouraged i didn't think i was going to get one. Oh dear gosh i was so discouraged the pond across the street was closed. I threw a couple more casts in here where this opens up and boom, I got smoked by a beautiful, beautiful little snook. Oh man, guys, I can't believe. Wow, guys, what a grind it's been. For almost four hours, literally almost no bites. And this beautiful, beautiful little guy came up and Wow, guys, what a grind it's been. been. Fishing for almost four hours, literally almost no bites. And this beautiful, beautiful little guy came up and bit 
finally bit my lure. Man, what a gorgeous fish. This is only the second snook I've ever caught, and like I said, it's in this brackish little canal, and uh, that puts a lot of uh, a lot of validation <laughs> of me coming out here, so that's good. I was uh, just starting to get pretty pissed. It's hot as hell out here. I'm hungry. My water's like a mile and a half down there, um, but YOLO, man. I'm just going to keep fishing, and uh, hopefully I can get a bigger one than this, but proof that there is snook in here. Um, beautiful, beautiful fish. Uh, I can't tell you guys how excited I am. This has just made my day completely. Look at that fish. Absolutely beautiful. I know you guys that do a lot of saltwater fishing are like, the snook is basically microscopic. Um, and uh, that might be true to you, but huge, huge win for me. Guys, we are, we're gonna let this beautiful little guy go um, super super hardcore turning point for the day and uh, I'm glad I got some of that on film of course like the Asheville video as well um, I didn't get the hookup on film because I was just so discouraged but at least I got myself pulling him in and we got him some uh, got some good uh, got some good footage of the actual fish itself um, he has been out of the water for a little while, so I am just going to kind of give him a quick little revive here real quick. But, wow, what a beautiful little animal. And uh, I'm going to let him go uh, right here. And, uh, all right, there he goes, partners. Like I said, out of this canal. Absolutely wild, guys. I'm going to make one more lap around this here pond. See if we can get a giant snook like I want, like I know that exists in here. At least I proved that there are snook. They are small. Oh, this is not good, everybody. Well, guys, um, tough day. That uh, bobber over there uh, just kind of kind of proved that I need to uh, get the heck out of here. Uh, so, like I said, it was a decent day. Um, was able to see that beautiful little black racer, which is obviously super phenomenal, um, super awesome, beautiful little guy. Um, and I was super excited when I was able to prove to you guys that there are in fact snook in this brackish pond, and that was indeed a brackish canal as well. Um, I have seen people and heard of people pulling out these just gigantic snook and uh, today is not going to be the last day I try to get these bad boys. Um, got embarrassed pretty hardcore today. Um, of course I really wanted to see if there was anything under that bobber um, but unfortunately just a giant snag and stole my favorite chatterbait but it is what it is. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here's all my social media channels as well. Um, and let me know what you guys want to see more of in the future. So I will see you in the next one.